So imagine you a short Canadian shit talker by the name of Wolverine and you got a mask on with no secret identity. Y'all just got back from saving stupid ass Gambit and them from the mutant version of Roots, aka Genosha, and the mansion is destroyed and Xavier is gone. Cyclops talking about let's find clues and you like, nah, I'm finna do my own investigation. The culprit got big ass feet. Where's Wolverine going? His own way like he always does. So you run off and then Jubilee finds you and now y'all run around the city playing who done it. And you think it's this Russian mutant named Colossus. He the real man to steal. He work in construction and people being racist to him. His name is Mutant Scab. And that's our money. It took your job. So you keep putting your privates on his neck. Like that's your only attack. But then you realize it wasn't him because he don't smell like the assailant. Then y'all go stop a bank robbery, and then you realize that it was really the juggernaut the entire time. Meanwhile, Colossus get framed for his crime, and Storm and Rogue go break him out. Beast in the cell across from him doing hard time. He got no tidy whitey. So y'all run down on Juggernaut, and he hit you with the why I order. Then the squad show up, and y'all try and jump him, but it ain't working out for y'all. So he beating y'all all up, like he really liked that. Y'all go get his helmet off so Jean Grey could, could get in his mind and give him amnesia. Then Colossus rebuild the entire mansion damn near by himself. That shit faulty. So imagine you a Southern Bell mutant by the name of Rogue. And you can't get no action because every time you touch somebody you drain their energy. So you backed up like crazy. Y'all rebuilding the X-Mansion and Wolverine is being wild annoying for no reason. Some nails in that for you. He a try hard. So Professor Xavier calls y'all on the Zoom and starts telling y'all that this professor by the name of Adler may have developed a mutant cure. And the team is like, we like our powers. We ain't no sellouts. But you like, I really need to get me some though. So you hop in the convertible, you know, something light. And here come thirsty ass Gambit. He getting on your nerves so you fly away. Why she took a car and instead of just flying, I don't understand. So you go to Ireland trying to see about a cure and you show up in the pub and it's a thirst fest. Two mutants try to holler at you and you put a whooping on them. So you find the doctor and you about to get cured and then the two mutants from the bar show up and destroy his machine and kidnap him. You run after them, deal with them, and then you got to defend the doctor from Cable because he just be showing up places. So Cyclops, Gene, and Xavier show up and y'all save Adler but you change your mind on the cure, but help fix the machine anyway. Turns out Adler been mystique the entire time, but you don't know that yet. Ooh, she's sneaky. And she worked for old Duck Lips, AKA Apocalypse. So imagine you a Southern Bell mutant by the name of Rogue, and you decided no to this fake ass mutant cure by Dr. Adler, and you low key embarrassed, you almost sold out. So you, Cyclops, Xavier, and Jean Grey is at a pub in Ireland with mad sellout mutants. How she get there? She from the sewer. So Andrew pull up talking about he cured. He like, get like me. Cure me. Girl, can't nobody cure that outfit. So you back at the mansion and Gambit being thirsty again. And you like, boy, this El Nana will kill you. Y'all turn on the big booty TV and old Duck Lips show up with his crew. They spend it on the humans and the 50 cent horses from back in the day. He put his whole package in dude's face too. So they causing trouble when she got the doo doo face hands. So Xavier is like go check on this mutant like he not one of the original X-Men because he was talking crazy at the pub. You pull up on Adler and realize it's your mom's but you act like you don't know her. Then she tell you she worked for old Duck Lips and that the cure is really mind control hater juice. Then she ease on out. So you pull up the Stonehenge, and old Duck Lips sounding like Robocop when he walk. Then he hits you, you fall, and show the audience the work you just got done in DR on the way to Stonehenge. Then the X-Men show up, and it's a free-for-all. Angel show up in his BBL, and you touch him barehanded. He come to his senses and start shooting Nerf bombs, and then Apocalypse ski data with a Transformer. So imagine you a short Canadian trash talker by the name of Wolverine and you got a trench coat on in a post-apocalyptic future where mutants are hunted. So this black mutant with luxurious hair capture y'all cause y'all rebels and he not. He a house mutant. The sentinels wanna kill all mutants. Just you rebels old man. 
they treat the rest of us just fine. So the Sentinels turn on him because he reached his quota and they about to kill all of y'all but y'all razzle and dazzle and old Soul Glow over there help. So you take him with you to go see Forge. That's your rebel homie. He about to send y'all back to the 90s because everything was better then but also to stop an assassination that they believe started this. But plot twist, you can't go. So now imagine you luxurious hair man, a.k.a. Bishop, and you in the 90s, but you can't remember your mission. But then your Apple Watch remind you that you got to stop the X-Men, so you Grand Theft Auto a bus and take it to the mansion. Then you pull up with the Blicky on the X-Men, and they restrain you, and Xavier go in your brain to get some answers, and he see the terrible future you come from. So he tell the X-Men to help you, and then y'all get an alert that someone else came through a time portal. And y'all go, and this new Sentinel that look like the cheap toys that arms don't bend pull up. Y'all beat it and send it back to the future, but now y'all at the mansion playing who done it, trying to figure out who did the assassination that triggered the future, and then Gambit come back, and you put a Blicky on him. I hate Cajun accents.